morning. Here we are. I'm wearing my new spirit jersey because it's a little bit cold. Uh, and my Pixar ears because we're going to Hollywood today. Okay, I just had to get my bearings. Um, but we are walking to the Skyliner. I'm so excited. It is currently, oh, I didn't put my watch on today just to give my one wrist a break. Um, but it's currently, I think, 725. So we're doing good. Outfit of the day, Pixar ears. This shirt underneath, I have a different shirt. You'll see when it gets warmer, I'm sure. Um, just black shorts. And I'm wearing my black uh, sneakers today. I'm trying to alternate the shoes thinking maybe that will help. Um, not positive, but like where one shoe gives me blisters, the other does not. So I don't know if that's the bad choice to alternate, but that's where I'm, that's what I'm doing. Um, but hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth. I don't know if I've done that at the beginning of all the vlogs, oh, but I can show you a little bit more of the resort while I'm walking around. It is a really fun resort. It's huge though. Like that's the thing with Disney resorts, like depending on where you're sitting or where you're staying, it's like far from each other. All right, I think I need to go this way. Let's see, let's go to this map here. All right, so over the bridge there is Art of Animation which is another Disney resort. It was actually supposed to be a continuation of Pop Century to do like the older decades, like the 1910, 1920, but um, they turned it into Art of Animation, which is, it's a really fun, beautiful resort. So, but we have the same Skyliner station and it's just up ahead. But, so here's all the like daisies and, Peace. This is like Natasha, La Casa de Natasha vibes. What decade is this? Maybe 70s? Is that why this sign is here? Yeah, it definitely is. They have different signs for the every different year. But off to the Skyliner we go. We're here. You guys, that was fantastic so I was worried the line was gonna be really long because um, usually that's what I've been told like at right before park openings that the line is awful I waited maybe two minutes maybe and it's like there's a breeze in there Wow but look at this view but anyway I would take that over riding a bus like ten times over so but we are here, Hollywood Studios. Oh my gosh, we're here. Oh, I'm so happy. Every every park, when you walk in, it's just a different vibe, and I love them all. Um, I did stop at Guest Relations super quickly <coughs> because it wouldn't let me book Rise of the Resistance this morning for a lightning lane, because those you have to pay more for. Um, and book them separately, but she said that it's not opening on time today, so that's why it didn't allow me to do it, because it must be down, so. But right now, we're walking to Mickey and Minnie's. I want to see how long that wait is. All right, there was a little bit of a delay this morning, but we are moving and grooving. Uh, sure, Goofy, I think we can all handle that. So I have a breakfast mobile order at Woody's Lunchbox, and then with some fiddle faddling and adjusting the Genie Plus times, um, I did snag a Slinky Dog for like a half hour from now. So 
my breakfast. Breakfast tachos. Oh my gosh. That was such a nice breakfast. Now, Slinky Dog Dash. Thank gosh I have a lightning lane because the line is already long. That ride was a lot of fun. I like that ride. Um, I am gonna walk through Galaxy's Edge, not necessarily do either of the rides because I don't have any lightning lanes booked or anything. Um, but we can just kind of look around and do maybe some shopping. So, the end of Toy Story Land. The beginning of Galaxy's Edge. I love transitions at Disney parks. It's like the music, the lighting, the trash cans, everything just kind of begin to ease you into this new land. The theming is just... I can't. It's so good. I mean, wow. Hello. All right, little sit time. Oh, to kind of map out a plan. Oh, I'm gonna even like put my feet up. Oh yeah. Oh, it, well, it's not that comfortable. I'm, I'm like, although the music is loud, oh well. Okay, hopefully the music is not too loud. Okay, so I talked to somebody else about the Rise of Resistance issue. She said that I probably just missed it this morning because it did come available, um, but like for literally a minute. She said at 7.01 they were sold out. So I'm not waiting in 120 line. I'm not gonna ride that today. Um, so the only other thing that I wanna do here in studios is a little bit of wandering, a little bit of shopping, and then the shows, which start in a little bit. And then we'll probably take a little break, figure out lunch, and then hop over to Epcot. Um, I do want to come back here, though, for Fantasmic for sure. Like, 100%. All right. This is one of my favorite things here. This whole, like, Walt Disney Presents area. And then at the end, there's either a film about Walt or a movie preview. I don't know if I've ever seen the one about Walt, so I'm kind of hoping that's the one it is today. Time for a show. <laughs> All right. So that is now goodbye, or that is goodbye for now for Disney's Hollywood Studios. So I am coming back tonight for Fantasmic. I think my plan is to do Epcot from like, I don't know, like three to six, and then come back here and be here seven till park close and for Fantasmic, and maybe we'll do something else, we'll see. Um, where am I going? Exit this way. Um, but yeah, that's the current plan. I do love these ears though. Oh my gosh. I got like the most comments about these that I have about most ears. The only exception being the Maleficent ones. Um, but I talked a little bit about this in yesterday's vlog. So, I feel like sometimes I and others feel a pressure to park open, to park closed do all the rides, run, run, run. But it needs to be the most enjoyable experience for you. And sometimes I forget, my favorite things about a park is just to walk around. It may look like I haven't done much to you, but to me, I had my perfect park day. You know what I mean? Like watching the shows, just walking around, like in the Star Wars land, Galaxy's Edge, I just walked around and spent like 20 minutes just walking around not even shopping per se, just like taking it all in. So everyone's experience here is different. And so all the videos that, you know, you consume to get ready for the trip. And I feel like most of them are people hustling. And maybe that's the kind of trip you wanna have. And that's great. And you should definitely watch some of those people's videos to kind of learn the tips and tricks to navigate um, a, a busy trip. But, I just want to enjoy. So, like, even me just right here, 
by the Skyliner station. That's making me happy. So, lol. It, it's it's what matters to you. That's what that's what's important. We're on the Skyliner, and when you come at not peak times when it's not busy, you get your own. So hold on. I wanted to show real quick the takeoff because we are about to take off. I love the oh there we go. Ooh, I love the Skyliner. I talked a lot about it uh, in my last vlog trip too, but this is an amazing addition to Disney. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Just me and my own gondola again. Oh, I love it. I could just ride these things, like all the different paths of them to to visit all the different resorts and like look out the window and see what we see. <coughs> this is really cool. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I was gonna go back to my room, but I don't, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. It's like almost lunchtime, I'm not quite hungry enough. So maybe I'll go back to my room for like an hour, recharge my phone. Just ahead I love that sound. Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Oh, let me see. Maybe I can show you some from above. From to so this is Art of Animation. I'm over there. Pop Century. But Art of Animation has much more like the Disney characters and stuff. It is really cute. I've gone over there once or twice. Um, so I don't know what I want to do here. I think I'm gonna go back to my room for like an hour, charge my phone, get a drink of water, relax, and then I'll, f I'll figure out like a nice spot to go for lunch. Change of plans. I was hungry. So I got some pizza. Um, it's also starting to get pretty warm. Not like in a bad way, but like I gotta take off this long sleeve shirt. Um, I even, I've seen some people now in the pool. I'm not opposed to that happening. We'll see if I want to just keep resting by myself. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I just got another compliment on these ears too. These ears are where it's at. I think I said the Maleficent ones were the most unique. So people really commented on those. But other than those, like, people really are liking these. So, I'm trying to decide, because since I'm going to Epcot, I was going to change my ears, because these don't really make sense in Epcot. But then I'm going back to Fantasmic. So I kind of want to keep these on. I don't know. The struggle. Um, but I'm definitely feeling the exhaustion a little bit so i'm excited to eat my pizza charge my phone and lie down for a little bit and we'll go from there what i just came into <laughs> so they came in to like refresh the room and this is what they left on the bed all my ears how cute i just want to show you this pizza box <laughs> that the pizza came in how stinking cute i love this i'm just uh, chilling, watching some Lilo and Stitch. I ate my pizza. Uh, and now we're getting ready to go back to the park. All right, I'm headed out. Just in the t-shirt and the shorts and same shoes now. Um, I'm debating between these and the Pixar ball. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with these because these are my ears for today and they're super cute. Yeah, let's just stick with them. Even though they don't necessarily go with Epcot, I think that's what I want to do. So, I'm going to have a nice leisurely stroll over to the Skyliner. Alright, we're at it again. Um, that break was fantastic. I mean, if it, it just kind of helped recharge a little bit, you know? It's not perfect. My legs still are tire, tired and whatever. My feet still have blisters, but it just helped. Um, and my plan here is to be pretty like productive and get a lot done tonight. So 
with that in mind, uh, I, I really am happy that I took a little bit of a break so that now we can power through and have a late evening. We'll see how it goes, but that is the plan. So right now we're headed to Epcot. Um, I do have a lightning lane for the Frozen ride and I think I'm gonna book one in a couple minutes here for Soren or Spaceship Earth or something else over there. We're gonna see the Broadway concert series, explore the pavilions a little bit, and then we'll hop back over to Hollywood for uh, like one ride maybe, and then Fantasmic. Oh, and Rise, oh, I didn't tell you. I did get a Rise of the Resistance Lightning Lane. I had to pay for that, so I, I spent a lot of money on rides today, but that's okay, because I think today's probably the last day I'll do that, maybe. Um, so, yeah, I have a Rise of the Resistance boarding group for later tonight as well, so good evening planned. We're trying something a little risky here. I hope I don't regret it. Um, well, first off, there's the Epcot ball, Spaceship Earth. Um, I'm actually going to Soren. I got a Genie Plus for it, but like, it's on the opposite side to where we want to be for Frozen and then for the Broadway concert series. So we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully I don't regret it. I'm hustling a little bit to make it happen, but this way I don't have to book Genie Plus tomorrow for my Epcot day. Cause honestly, Soren's the only one that I would have needed it for everything else I think we're gonna get to today. So we're gonna make it work. Hello and welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes. I love the music for Soren. Unfortunately, it is copyright, so <laughs> I can at least show you a little bit from the attraction, but I always enjoy this one. Okay, so keep in mind, <laughs> we are gonna take a closer look at a lot of these things tomorrow. Um, Today is just kind of hustling to get a couple things done, see the Broadway concert, and then get back to Hollywood Studios. So this this is like the reason I'm here, Epcot. Like one of the main things I want to do on this trip is the Festival of the Arts. So we'll get to do a bunch tomorrow, and then we'll do. Um, yeah, like, I think there, there's even other things that I don't know about that's happening. So, yeah, I'm going to do a ton tomorrow, but then, um, the, uh, my last day here as well. So, keep that in mind. We will be back to do a lot of this. But I just rode Soren. That was really fun. I like that ride. And now, we are hustling over to Frozen. Everyone is This is another really fun ride. Uh, it always has a really long wait though, so I was really happy to get a Genie Plus Lightning Lane for it. This is always one that you should get uh, closer to the start of your day, because it's a very popular attraction, but... <laughs> these like pop-up art shops during this festival. I love that. You can get it in a smaller print. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm gonna think about that. It's $50 still, but hmm. let me film this just so I remember. <laughs> but there it is in big format. It's so pretty. Oh, this is this one. I'll have to come back here tomorrow. Cheers. 
just got a nice peach bellini. Um, I may see if I want to get a snack at a booth before we head to the Broadway concert. was awesome. I love that. I'll definitely be coming back at least once if not two more times to see that because it's a different performer um, Monday and Tuesday. So I love that though. That was awesome. And then I got to meet, I'll pop up a picture. I got to meet Victoria with Disney in detail. She's like, I've, I followed her for years watching all her Disney vlogs and I feel bad. I like tackled her. Not, I didn't touch her. But I was like, Victoria! And she was like, she was so lovely, but still, I was like, I know you are, you don't know who I am, sorry. Um, but that was really cool. We are now going to Remy's because I did get a lightning lane for that. Um, and I think that's it for now in Epcot. There is so many of these like little art booths. Like I've probably have counted like 20 of them. Oh. Oh, there are so many. This is where I got that empanada that I ate during the show. Um, it was really good. It was spicy, though. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, those art booths. I'm going to have to, when I come tomorrow, I'm, I want to buy one. But I can only buy one. <laughs> so I got to do a lap to look at all of them and then pick my favorite, I think. All right. Now we are in our own. From Epcot... From Epcot to get to Hollywood, or even to my hotel, there's like a lot of things, stops in between, and you have to transfer one time. So at that one, the cabin was full, but now on this last leg of the journey, we're alone, which is my fave, because then you can just chill, and I can vlog and not worry about it. Um, I, I, I love these Skyliner, this edition at Disney World. I think it's awesome. Look at this. Ladies. Oh, I just missed it. The and ball was back there, the Epcot ball. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Here's our view. We're I was on a Winnie the Pooh one too Hollywood last time, Studios. which I love. You can see it a little bit. It's mainly just like a blue in the distance. Can you see that? Oh, you just see my phone. I'm sorry. I think you see a little glimmer of it back there. Um, but we'll definitely take a closer look at the beacons of light tomorrow on there. Oh, I love Disney. I'm also feeling great tonight. Having that rest, I've had, oh, you can kind of see me, we're, we're chit-chatting. We also, um, like that Broadway concert was a rest. Like we've had some sit downs and that has helped tremendously because now I feel like I can easily make it through Fantasmic and Rise of the Resistance. And then at some point I want to get a little something to eat too. I don't know if I want like dinner dinner or just like a munch situation. Maybe I'll like munch on a couple things. What's on my radar is, it's I love that sound, but how rude. We will be arriving at how Disney's rude. Hollywood Studios. That's exciting, Whether you though. plan to visit a galactic outpost. Um, so I have my eye on the Jack Jack Num Num cookie. Um, there's another cookie from Backlot Express. Like, it's like an oatmeal cookie with the cream inside type thing. Um, and also that coffee. I really, I do want that coffee, even though it's going to be nighttime. <laughs> when I go to Rise, Rise of the Resistance, I may still get that coffee. Because that coffee, I remember, being so good in Disneyland. So I kind of want to get that again. So that's what's my, what my eye is on. Um, the first Fantasmic's at 8 o'clock. So I think we will make that. Um, so I think that's gonna be my plan. Get something to eat and then start heading over to Fantasmic. I'm so excited I haven't seen Fantasmic in forever because it hasn't been here in a while. Okay, last chit chat before we actually walk into the park now. Um, I also was thinking a little bit today about how the four, the, the four park per, 
the four parks one day challenge, like going to all four parks. I used to think like that's so like silly, like you can't get anything done if you were to go to all four parks. But we've gotten so much done today and I know we've only gone to two, Ladies but we went to one of them twice, the you know what I mean? So like if this were, like let's say I was going to Magic Kingdom tonight for fireworks and like that's three parts. It's only one more part. Doors automatically open. I don't know. Exiting the cabin. Have the goods. <laughs> We're walking to Fantasmic. This fantastic, so good. I've talked about this so many times, but for me, that's what makes Disney. Like the entertainment, the feels. You hear they have another like little show going on right now, um, but I'm not stopping for that because I have Rise of the Resistance. So I'm hustling over there. I booked that lightning lane, like one came up and I got it really quick, so. I'm hustling over there to do that before park closes in 20 minutes. So I will have done park open to park close today. Of course with a little break, but we did the whole day. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling it, but off we go to Rise. BB-8, prep the ready room for the man that ride that's just like even if you know nothing about Star Wars you need to do that ride that ride it just <laughs> I don't know what to say about it um, there's definitely lots of videos um, that you can look up to watch the full ride through I filmed a little bit but that's not why you know I'm here to film the whole thing you can find that if that's what you're looking for Hopefully these vlogs just give you a little taste, maybe some tips and tricks. Let me know how you're liking them so far. But it is after park close. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. Back to the room. All right, so Skyliner was not bad at all. I waited two, three, four minutes at each station. Not bad at all for it being like a peak time. Um, and just really convenient. Now it's much shorter from Hollywood Studios because you just go from Hollywood to Caribbean Beach and then Caribbean Beach to here. For Epcot, there's like a turning station and then you also pass through Riviera. So it really is like twice as long for the Epcot line. It's no big deal, but just so you're aware to factor in that time a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I did stop at the quick service. I've never used a resort quick service like this. Like, this is my third time there. <laughs> um, but it's just really convenient for something like quick to munch on because I'm a little bit hungry. Um, yeah, so, but I'll talk to you when I'm up in the room and just kind of close out the day and talk about tomorrow. And we made it. Oh. Before I get fully ready for bed though, I wanted to close out this vlog. I had such a great day today. I mean, isn't every Disney day amazing? But Fantasmic, oh, I should, I should have done a highlight of the day from each day. Let's see if I can look back. So highlight of the Universal Day was the wand moment for sure. Yesterday, I may have to think on that and get back to you. Oh God, I shouldn't have done that. Um, today's highlight of the day, oh no, yesterday's highlight of the day was either Festival of the Lion King 
or um, like seeing the castle. Oh my God, I just love it here. And then today, well, today I came back to like the clean. There's a, you can't pick one. I love Disney. Anyway, um, had such a fabulous day today. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Epcot all day. I don't have to hop anywhere else. I can if I feel like I've done it all. But to be honest, with the Festival of the Arts, I think that I can do the whole day at Epcot. Because um, we didn't really get to do much Epcot today. We did a couple of the rides. Three of the most popular ones, but that's it. So I don't think I'm going to do uh, Genie Plus. Because I want to do Spaceship Earth, Living with the Land. That's all that I have to do. And I don't need Lightning Lane for those. Um, so that is my plan for tomorrow. I think because of that, I'm going to let myself sleep in, I think. We'll see how late I get to bed tonight. But I think my body could use it. Just to have a little bit of a rest in the morning. Like a chill morning. Rather than like, because I've been waking up at like 6am every day. So I may let myself sleep in a little bit. We'll see. But without further ado, that's all for today's vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.